Hi, this is Julie Larson here, and I want to show you how I've been having a lot of fun with my QR code. And today is actually Halloween, so what I did was I put a candy corn frame around my QR code, and I was careful to leave some space, the white space between the candy corn and the QR code so that it's still readable. Um, I've also got another one. My business, well first of all this one here is an old one. This was before I knew about QR.gl and I had made this, this is a static code and um, but the neat thing is I was able to change the colors and then put the frame around it. So let me close that out. Here's one that I use for my Cloud Bloomers business and I like it because my business is about blooming online and these are actually beautiful flowers that are in bloom. Okay, So I'm going to show you how I do this. I use a program called Picnic.com. It's P-I-C-N-I-K.com. And what I do is I upload from my desktop. I already have the QR code from QR.gl downloaded to my desktop and I upload the pictures there or the image of the QR there. I won't go through that now because I've already got it right here. So I'm going to bring that one up. And I'm going to start out with a frame. And I actually have an upgraded account. I've got a premium account. And you'll see the things that are available as a premium. That daisy frame is available as a free frame. This is free. And then if you scroll down over here, you'll see that there's lots of free stuff that you can use. Um, but let's go ahead and put a border around it. Okay, see how I clicked over here on border and that black border popped up? And maybe I want the outer edge of the border just a little thicker. Alright, and maybe I want to make it a different color. I know somebody who likes bright red. So I'm going to make it red and be careful when you're messing around with your QR code to keep a, a space between the code and whatever the frame is so that your code is still readable by the scanners. And let's see, I think I'm happy with that color red and the thickness. Now I'm going to click on Apply. And I would like to add some text now to the frame. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose this. I'm going to choose global text. So I choose global and I just simply start typing in here scan me for something free. And um, maybe I have uh, some, some free offer connected to my QR code. So I'm going to scan me for something free. Click on Add. And the size, I need to go over here and shrink. You can see how it just popped up on the screen. I can put that right there. Put it in my frame. And um, maybe if I wanted to change that color, I can go over here and change the font color to make it Christmassy. <laughs> anyway, um, you get the idea there. Maybe a, a yellow would be nice. Okay. Or I could just keep it white. Um, center it. I can make it bold. And I think I'm happy with that just for demonstration purposes. Now the other thing is there's some neat little stickers that you can put on here too. And I think there's lots of free ones. Yeah, you can see here's the ones that are premium, but maybe I want to put on, oh, I don't know, I'll just pick something, okay? I'll pick some of these so I can put a sticker on here. And I can decorate my QR code frame. Just put it all up and down the side there.
Okay, so you get the point here. Now when you've got it just exactly how you want to keep it, you're simply going to save it and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Demo QR. Oh, it has to I have to have the extension of J, JPEG. Yes, I'll just say yes and then I'll save it again. It's saving. And there we go. I'm going to find it on my desktop real quick. I'm going to pause this for just a second. Okay, I found it on my desktop and I double clicked on it and opened it up and there it is. Now there's one last thing I want to share with you is when you download the your QR code from the QR.gl it ends up being 500 by 500 uh, pixels and sometimes you need it to be a little bit smaller when you're going to upload it to maybe your Facebook profile and in Picnic you can also resize your pictures in Picnic so let me find where you can do that and basic edits okay there's a place where you can resize and let's say I want it and this one is larger than the 500 by 500 because I added the frame around it but if I wanted it to be maybe 180 by 180 I could hit apply and then of course I would resave it and we would be good to go okay thank you